Hey, how's it going everybody? It was definitely time to make another car video because I just bought this today. Good old Honda Accord, 1999, the internet's cheapest Honda Accord. Now, I did get this from my singer for $200, <laughs> but in my defense, it was listed on the internet. So it is the internet's cheapest Honda Accord. And we'll be going over a very uh, Doug DeMuro-like weird quirks and features because it has a lot of them. So uh, let's just let's just go ahead and start here. What do you get with a two hundred dollar car? Well, you get a functioning motor and transmission that was already rebuilt, so quite good. It drives actually phenomenally. There's a lot of things about this car that I like better than the Versa. Ooh, look at that dent. But we'll start here. So how you get in the car is that handle. Like that handle? Let me focus there. That's a good handle there. So. Getting in here, we got a little bit of tape stain, but the windows do work. Interior, quite clean. So, no rips, no rips on the interior. Quite a clean interior, kept it really nice. Wheel, intact. So with this $200 car, we get no AC, but a functional heater. This does work. You just gotta turn it with your hand. Your little fingies here. The stereo does not work. That is all right. If they steal it, it already doesn't work. <laughs> all the gauges work, which is great. Nothing's disgusting in here. All the gears work. We have tiny little storage here. Big, big storage right here. We have good glove box. We got a little bit of storage right here. We have a double storage right here. Whatever those are. And we have a sunroof. Uh, and it does work beautifully. And we also have sunglasses holders. So quite a bit of little features here. And we have cruise control. I believe that doesn't work, but it's there nonetheless if I want to fix it. Here are the controls for the sunroof. And this is quite a bit more features on this 1999 Honda Accord than are on the 2007 Nissan Versa. Because the Versa is pretty much... You know, a little workhorse car. It's not really meant for features. It was the cheapest car uh, on sale at the time. And this was not. This is, a uh, you know, everyone knows the Honda Accord. This was like one of the best. I believe this is actually the highest rated generation they ever had. Because this is a continuation of the old Honda I had, the 2.2 liter motor. Now we have a 2.3 liter motor, bored out a little bit. And it's making uh, around 130, 140 horsepower. And then uh, right around 135 pound-feet of torque. I don't know if it's making that anymore at 300,000 miles. But it is powerful and torquey nonetheless. All right, now that I got the key and I'm able to show you guys the gorgeous amount of 300,000 miles. 749. But it is still kicking. Kicking like a spring chicken. And it redlines at six and a quarter right there, as you can see, quite a bit of power. I haven't even brought this over 4,000 RPM. This is quite a torquey motor. I, I loved the one in my 1990 Honda I had, and, you know, this is just a better version of that. So, gobs of torque. It's, uh, it, it honestly feels kind of like V6 torque. Have you ever driven a, you know, a little V6 Honda Accord round? around? <laughs> These, uh, I think it's because this is quite a good motor in this car. And it's also light. This 1999 Honda Accord, this full-size sedan, is the same weight, 2,700 pounds curb weight, as this, uh, you know, newer 2007 Nissan Versa. So, pretty cool. Back then, you know, cars were lighter. I don't even know if uh, there's airbags right in there. <laughs> These little thin A-pillars. So, it definitely wasn't in my 1990. But, anyway, let's, uh, let's do this right here. Where is the control? There's the control. Check out how nice it still works. Damn, beautiful. And it's such a beautiful day out. So this is pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. I currently don't have uh, license plates on here. They took them back when they wanted to take them when we sold the car. So um, I can't really drive it and show you guys around uh, driving experience right now, but we're gonna work on this exterior and make this car pretty first. So let me show you, I'll do a little walk around of the outside. And then in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and give this car a full on makeover and I honestly think this car is going to look better than that car by the time we're done with it. Because, let's face it, the 2007 Nissan Versa kind of looks like a mini minivan. It's kind of one of the ugliest cars ever made. And if we get out here... Oh, good squeeze. If we come out here, you'll notice that it's actually not a bad looking car. 
like I mean it's just it's just a car <laughs> next to the in the dictionary next to the word car this is basically it so pretty good so as far as exterior you know we got we got a little bit of a white sp splish and splash right there this is the worst uh, cosmetic defect so far but it still does have like almost brand new tires with tread on them and there are new front brakes so I mean this is the best car purchase pretty much of all time 200 bucks for a functional car with just some uh, it just needs a lot of tender love and care let's see we have a cracked mirror there's that I already showed you guys the handle uh, this works that's good we could pump gas uh, brake lights are out but we'll need to fix that immediately right when I get my plates what else what else we got a little scratch right there uh, yeah just these uh, white splashes but <laughs> if anyone has been following the channel you all know what I'm going to do to this since it's a black car already you know what's gonna happen let's go around the good old Seagull palm and uh, this is probably the most noticeable one but yeah we're gonna get rid of that right in the next video so uh, yeah I think that's all I have to say about this car for right now uh, freaking excited stoked I know I needed a backup car for the job got that for a while and then I, I was gonna have uh, you know like a v8 car like I've been talking about I was gonna have that as my backup car maybe like a, a BMW 540i in a manual or uh, or a Mustang you know v8 Mustang um, but this kind of fell into my life and this is one this is like a third of a car payment <laughs> and then you get to own it all right, well, that's about all I have to talk about in this video, so I will see you guys in the next one. We'll give this car a full, uh, full treatment here on the exterior. See ya.